Hello and welcome to one of my favourite pleasure fishing venues. If I use that term, it means that I'm not likely to catch any monsters here, but of course, all fishing, whatever type we do, should always add the element of pleasure right at the very core. I've just arrived, I've cast out. Before I did, I had a little mooch around looking at the wildflowers that are coming through now. Lots of common frog tadpoles in the margins. That's a great sign. And I also lifted up a plank and found three common toads underneath it as well. Great start on the nature front. Let's see what the fishing has in store for me in this short but hopefully sweet session in Shropshire. I haven't had a bait in the water too long and I've got a fish on. It feels like a perch. If it does, then it's, if it is a perch, it's going to be a pretty uh, decent one. And indeed it is. I often catch small ones from this venue, so it's nice to get something a little bit bigger. Not a monster though, but nevertheless, needed the net and all fish are welcome, especially the first one. It means I'm off the mark. Not too bad. I'm certainly happy with that. Before I cast out again, the fish has now gone back. Let me show you my setup. I'm fishing with a nine foot John Wilson Masterline rod and a Shimano 2500 reel loaded with four pound Maxima Chameleon. That goes straight through to the hook which is, and there's the worm that just caught that fish, a size 10 Drennan, super specialist, micro barbed, and as I usually do in this sort of situation, I've created a hook length by nipping on a shot, a small bead, and then a small lead just above that. Simplicity in itself, as I always say, but it works, and that's what it's all about. I may be fishing on the bottom in 12 feet of water with a size 10 hook and a nice worm, but it doesn't stop the traditional surface feeder, the rud, from taking the bait. Great, aren't they these? Beautiful colors. I'm fishing worm, as you've seen, over red maggot and some brown crumb to get the bait predominantly down on the deck although I don't mind some falling a little bit slower because that will also draw fish in as well. Another fish on. I'm not going to show all the smaller ones to the camera of course but I will show new species and I have a feeling that this is one and indeed as it breaks the surface it is it's a very small one though. I'll show you in a moment or two. It's as lively out of the water as it was in. Let me hold it up to the screen though. Small tench. Small, but perfectly formed. I've been broken by a carp. I've had a number of small perch and I've just banked this which is the biggest perch of the session so far. 